What's up? <clears throat> this video is part of a new thing that I wanted to do. And it's called Behind the Car. We haven't got to the following or know enough people to start interviewing anyone else. So I figured I'd start with myself. But before we get to that point, I want to show you the car. Then did they surrender? Did they retreat? No. 18 of them rushed forward with bombs in their hands, got under the tanks and blew them up. So, if you don't know me, my name is PJ, Paul Jr., Paul John, and uh, this is the first car that I bought myself when I turned 18. I bought the rabbit truck when I was younger, I think I was 15, 16, with the help of my dad. Um, but this one is the first one I bought on my own. And me and this car have been through a lot. Done a lot of stupid shit together. A lot of stupid fun shit. Um, thank God I'm not in jail. And uh, thank God I'm still alive. Um, so when I bought this car, it was all the door color, the green color. I can't remember the paint code. Really pretty color though. I'll have to get some shots of that so you can see it. And uh, this is when me and my dad first started getting along ever. Like, ever. I always thought he hated me. I thought that he didn't want me at all, you know, or to be around. And uh, when I bought this car, <clears throat> sorry. When I bought this car, it felt like he loved me. It felt like he wanted to be around me. It felt like he wanted to do things with me. And, uh, I have a weird attachment to that because of this car. Or attachment to this car because of that. Um, it started out life as a 94 Z28 six speed. LT1 car and everyone talks shit about LT1 cars and my whole goal was to not let that happen and it achieved it for a long time uh, with the help of my dad we did headers he did a full true dual exhaust while I was at work I was working my ass off as much as I could and all my paychecks went into this like every paycheck I had for like a year and a half. I was broke as fuck. And uh, I was building a motor alongside of this because when this one got wrecked, I bought another one. But we did headers. He did the true dual exhaust all the way back. Um, I did 44 pound injectors. Uh, coil pack kit from LTCC. Um, he put a hundred shot of nitrous on it for me for Christmas. We put in some 410 gears, some KYB struts and springs, and then uh, right, but well, before the true dual exhaust, right before that, um, I got rear ended in the green car. We were stopped behind a school bus and we got hit at 55 miles an hour. And so we bought this purple shell and swapped literally everything from the green car into this car. And right before that, we cut the knuckles on the green car. So it's got custom cut knuckles. He did it. I didn't know how to do anything at the time. Um, 
a little bit of toe out, a bunch of camber. It's got pretty decent lock for what it is. And uh, me and my dad bonded a lot with this car. And it wasn't something I thought would be so important to me. But my dad never told me he was proud of me for anything. I can't remember one fucking time. But with this car, it felt like he was proud of me. I spent a lot of time in this car. And I'm selling it because it's just sitting here. <clears throat> it's been sitting here for, fuck, probably six years. Dude, this fucking fly. Get it out of here. Uh, it's been sitting here for like six years. At one point, I put probably five grand into it within the span of a couple months. And it just started running like shit. And I tried fucking everything to fix it. Um, and it would be fixed. And it would be good for a couple days. And then it would start running like shit again. I'd fix something else. It would be good for a couple days. Start running like shit again. And I just never traced it down enough and I didn't want to pull the motor because I don't think it's anything to do with the motor um, and I'm tired of it just sitting here that and I'm more of a European car guy at the end of the day I'd rather have 14 Mark 1's than a shitbox Camaro that's kind of fast you know this is up for sale we'll see if anyone buys it a lot of guys just want it for the tranny which I understand because they're getting really hard to find but we'll see She's a shitbox, but it was a fun shitbox. So fast that the fucking windows were flapping because there's not a windshield frame in these cars it's just got a rubber seal and uh, we well not we my dad bass boated the top of it and the door jams we were planning on painting the car black so it'd be black and green and then I liked how ugly it was because you'd race people and they get pissed because they're driving something fancy and cool and they lose to something that looks like this it's the funniest shit I used to go to the drag strip every Wednesday and Friday or every Wednesday and Saturday, whatever the test and tune days were. I can't remember. It was years ago. The fastest time I ever went was like a 13.1 or a 13.2 at like 145 miles an hour. It had the, the capabilities going way faster, but I don't know why it wouldn't. I couldn't shift it any faster. Everyone said that I shifted fast. Everyone was like, is that thing an automatic? I'm like, nope. It's a, you punch it and you shift. And your foot doesn't move. It's just punched the whole time. You just, bah, bah, bah. No fun. I'll see if I can find any old clips to throw in here. It was a good car. Did a lot of stupid shit, but I'm over it. I'd rather have the money. And at this point, I built it back then so that me and my dad had something to do. So that. Me and my dad could get along for once. And that's not happening anymore, so no reason to keep it. It's an emotional burden, you know? This is something I want to get into. I'll probably write down questions if I'm asking other people when I start doing those videos, but for right now, when it's just me, I don't, I didn't write anything down. I'm using this phone to record my audio to put on that phone, so... Yeah. Thanks for checking out the video. Go ahead and stick around for more European stuff because getting rid of this fucking American hunk of junk. Have a good night. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.